Hey, it's me. You know how people say the kingdom of heaven is within you? I think it can be very difficult to wrap our heads around that and what that actually means. Like we might think it just refers to our moods or feelings, like something unreal or intangible. Most of us tend to believe only in things we can see or touch. And that's understandable, like since feelings and thoughts aren't visible or physical, we often struggle to see them as real. When we consider that our thoughts and feelings can actually create forms and shapes, it can help us understand that they build corresponding worlds or environments around us as well. Now, these corresponding worlds could be harmonious or chaotic, with all sorts of variations in between. And even that idea, it's still tough to grasp how all of this can exist inside us. The kingdom of heaven is within you. We usually think there's no space within us, like for landscapes or entire spheres, of existence, let alone the kingdom of heaven. It's hard to explain with words, but I want to try to give a better understanding of this spiritual concept and how I've come to understand it. Just like time on earth isn't the same as time in the spiritual realm, space is different too. Directions like up, down, left, and right make sense here but they don't exist in the same way in the spiritual dimension. When we shed our physical bodies, it's said that we actually go inward into spiritual worlds because the whole universe is inside each of us. Yeah, I know that sounds wild, but a lot of spiritual texts support this idea. Let me try and explain with an example, even if it's not really a perfect example. Imagine you're looking through binoculars the wrong way. So everything looks really small. That tiny image becomes your reality at that moment, right? Now, you might wonder how the vast universe can exist within every person. I think, I think of it this way. Our physical world isn't the ultimate reality. It's more like a reflection or a mirror image of what's truly real. Our bodies create this sense of separation. When that barrier falls away, like when we pass on and leave our bodies, the universe inside each of us comes together. This unity happens, especially if we've developed ourselves spiritually to reach realms where separation doesn't even exist anymore. The lower the spiritual level we're on, whether in this life or beyond, the more pronounced that separation is or is perceived to be. Language falls short when trying to describe spiritual things, but I hope this helps to give a rough idea anyway. Like maybe it'll encourage one to think more deeply about the notion that heaven is within us and everything in between is within us as well. It isn't just about emotional states as we usually think of them. And it's not something necessarily abstract either. In the spiritual sense, everything that seems abstract to us is actually concrete and what seems formless has form. It's just made of higher matter. It might be challenging at first to understand that the physical world we touch is only a mirror image or reflection of the universe fully present in every human soul. But I propose that it is worth reflecting on. And the more that we do reflect on it, it'll start to make more sense. Anyway, that's my thought for today. I love you. Let's connect soon.